What you do, Indigo Dreamers? Back for more Battle Factory. All right. Is this PU? I think this is PU. Yeah. I was just thinking about what tier I might actually want to try to play, and like maybe have an actual team. I don't know. About, I don't know about building teams right now, but maybe you like find a team to use. And RU is usually my go-to, but I was thinking about NU. Uh, as well because it seems like a pretty fun tier this generation a lot of previous ru pokemon are actually in nu this generation which is kind of fun um but pu also looks fun i like santa scorch i like santa con it is a i don't know what it is with game freak and why they make snake pokemon not look like snakes <laughs> why does this look like this why does Saviper look like a squiggle i feel like arbok could be improved too like our is the best snake of the snakes i guess but like it just look it looks like it's too short for a snake i guess should i just earthquake hmm. i kind of want to get a stealth rock up yeah he's gonna be too scared for sure and speaking of too scared well i have a Senna scorch so what am I really afraid of? A rapid spin. He really does not switch into this. My opponent does not switch into this at all, which is pretty cool. I'm just gonna go for a fire lash as a, oh wait, am I? A boots, okay, right, 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 right. Cool, so that's clearly the switch in. Let's see if they know about this. Cool. <laughs> So now there are no switches to the fire type. Well, depending on the Silvali. Uh, and I guess Agron is definitely still a threat. Ninjask comes in. Ooh, yeah, I see. Uh, I have a Magneton, though. I guess a U-turn could be a thing. We have a Rocky Helmet. Maybe I should just go that. Yeah. Yeah, there's a Wing Beat for some Rocky Helmet damage. Nice. Took more damage than uh, was done to me. Uh, and I will just glare here on the Eldegoss switch. Why not? Uh, just go right back into Senna Scorch. I don't see why not. Oof. That is rough because that means I get to Fire Lash pretty freely right here. Uh, maybe we'll see the Silvali here. Maybe we'll see the Agron. Maybe the Eldegoss can tank this hit. So Volley comes in, it is so Volley Ghost. Hmm. We just go Adino. Just goes for the U-turn, okay. I do want to worry about this thing, because it could be like Swords Dance Flame Charger. My team is not very fast, although I probably have Sucker Punch, actually, now I think about it. I do not. Okay, good to know. Yeah, so that is actually something to watch out for. I think it's gonna be faster than everything on my team. Yeah, it is. Well, it's ties with Haunter, I guess, but what do I get from that? Uh, if I can get a sub up versus something, but I don't think I really will be able to. Agron is in. I don't really have hazard control. Oh, I do have defog. Okay, just goes for the toxic. I'll just knock off. And just go Sandaconda. Goes for the stealth rock there. I'll just double into shift tree. As the LDS does come out. And I'll get off a of defog. As in comes the ninjask once again. Uh, I don't really see a reason not to go with Sanaconda. Even like a U-turn or a Swords Dance isn't that threatening. So you have Glare. Eldegoss is back. I just go Cinescorch, Mill. They make a double here. They go for the Sleep Powder. Good play. I'll stay in and see what I can do. 
obviously not gonna wake up here, but it'd be nice to burn this first turn of sleep to potentially get the next turn wake as in comes the Silvali. That could be problematic. Goes for the swords dance. I don't wake up. Actually, sure. With there's a knockoff more powerful here. Ooh. <laughs> Gonna predict the sucker punch. Oh, I live the flame charge. Oh no. Is that Anaconda? Nice. Okay, cool. <laughs> that means if it wants to attack me, then it'll die to Rocky Helmet. Okay. Thought about clicking rest there, but I didn't want him to swords dance again. I mean, I guess that I should have just rested, but we are where we are. Um, still have Magneton that can put in a lot of work. Um, kind of my main way of beating everything that is not named Eldegoss. The ingest does come out. I should have just gone straight into it. Yeah, because that's a free U-turn. Berserker comes in. Could this thing be scarfed? Do I risk it? All right. Oh, ho, ho. my. I'll go Haunter. That's quite the crit. I am choice specs though. So it's possible that did not matter. In comes the Agron. Definitely need to keep this alive. So Audino or Shiftry? Audino doesn't really get me much. Shiftry could get me some. I'll go out, Dino. Goes right for the head smash. Uh, I'll get a wish off if I can. There's the miss indeed. protect yeah <laughs> what's oh, a speed tie <laughs> wish again hopefully uh <laughs> Toxic Stealth Rock, Head Smash, Heavy Slam, or Earthquake could definitely be bad. What is this thing special defense? Pretty low. I'm willing to bet this thing dies to a Specs Thunderbolt. Please. I think I lose otherwise. Okay. 44. That's pretty solid. Go shift tree on the potential sleep powder. Yeah, nice. Knockoff is pretty free. I could also synthesis up. Yeah, 
I'll knock off. Goes for the Giga Drain there. Okay. I will synthesis on the Agron. Okay. Knockoff would have been okay there, but I'll go for a Leaf Storm because it'll guarantee me a better situation, I think. Goes for the Toxic. Knock off for some more chip damage as he goes for Earthquake. Just leave Storm again. <laughs> Misses Head Smash. Goes Eldegoss on the knockoff. Oh, this thing is a generator. I forgot about that. Uh, actually, I think this might, might be... Hunter's chance to just win the game, actually, because I can go for a substitute. Nice. Shadow Ball takes out the Agron, and that should be the game. Because I don't think Ninjask will live. Oh, wait. I forgot about that dual hit move, but I lived it anyway. <laughs> oh, I died too. Flash Cannon crit, but it goes for the Leech Seed, so that should be game. Don't think that one made a difference. Blue. Yeah, like what? <laughs> I got one very nice crit on somebody. Oh, on the Berserker? Like, maybe that mattered too, but that one definitely didn't matter. Because if I'm doing 80% with a crit, that means I'm doing at least 50%. So there's no uh, there's no way <laughs> that, that, that anything was going to survive that. Uh, another hit, I mean. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know what that guy's crying about. Let me just count the... Let's see. Magneton... Choice Specs versus Berserker. Assuming it's just this set. Yeah, Volt Switch, I don't even need to crit. Unless it's like a Salt Vest or something. Oh, I'm looking at Persian. <laughs> Berserker. Okay, so Volt Switch, I had a 68% chance for that not mattering, so I don't know. Maybe I got a little. I could. I, I might as well have just gotten a lucky roll other than a crit. So. I, I mean, it was even in my favor to KO without a crit. <laughs> Unless there's some set like this. Maybe it's an assault vest or something. I don't know. PU again. Choice band. Okay, so assuming that's what my opponent had, then I don't really know what. <laughs> We're crying about, especially because yeah. Let me just while I have this up. Uh, what was his name? What's his name? Eldegoss. Yeah, that's exactly the move set that it had, and I'm doing 53 to 63. What about with the crit? Yeah. So, basically, no chance of winning that I think unless like something happened with leech seed and like then like got us landed a sleep powder like if it somehow lived I don't know there I don't think there's any way that I lost that uh, no crit needed okay he left he or she left people just have no patience man Oh, and we got are you it's the same guy <laughs> it's the same guy. the salty run back oh and they're back oh no all right and unfortunately guys i now have two games at a time this is just something that happens and they turn the timer off not very considerate of them i think i just glare this because i don't want to deal with clefairy
I think I'll go with the Hansi League, I guess. I don't know, he's got a lot of boots users, but whatever. It should lead pretty well versus the Slurpuff or the Roserade. Uh, I got Vileplume. Switches into this thing every time. Glare this guy <laughs> as he goes for the Stealth Rock. I think I'll just get mine up too. Yeah, I don't have any hazard control on my side. Goes Whimsicott, okay. Ooh, good, good Encore me. Definitely good Encore me. I think I just go Berserker though. Oh, goes for the Energy Ball. Whew, that's big damage. But you know what else is big damage? <laughs> Here comes the Tangela. How much is this taking? 33, okay. Let's check in the other game. Goes for the Spikes, all right. Corrosive Gas is kind of dope. Here comes the Noivern. Uh, I guess U-Turn probably coming here, but if I get Diancie in on something... I'll go my own Whimsicott on the Tangela. I'm sorry if you're just listening to this audio, it's gotta be confusing. I'm gonna go for a knockoff. Get rid of this Eevee Light if I can. In comes the Roserade again. I'm gonna Stealth Rock as they spike for sure. Go Vile Plume. Go for the Sludge Bomb. Crit. Ooh. Speaking of. Ooh, knock off those boots. I'll take it. This is a tough Pokemon to switch into. What? Keyberry Uxie would call him mine? That's crazy. I gotta make some choices though. I'm running low on time. Dang, this puts me in a very bad spot. I don't know, maybe it probably 2 a KO'd anyway. Should I just let this thing go down? I don't really see a point in hanging on to it. Oh my. <laughs> Over prediction. Uh, it's too many games at a time, man. Too many games. Ooh. Registeel is an issue. I'm just going tire range. I don't care. Okay, so I glare this tangle. Oh, I have 20 seconds left. Who's it got? I gotta pick my moves. In comes Serena. I was not expecting that. I can just go Incineroar, skip, knock off on the Charizard. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I can probably just kill this thing. Moonblast. Uh, triple Axel. Knock off. I'm gonna use a Rapid Spin. Oh, it didn't kill, of course. Oh, but... Okay. Knock off. I will U-turn. Nice. Berserker. Gunk Shot. No reason not to Iron Head. Kills me. Cool. Uh, Uxie. 
Komm mal. Oh, 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 oh. Should have gone into uh, Tyrantrum actually and clicked close combat again. Oh, nice. Call mining up again. Is he gonna encore this time? Uh, I will store power. Switcheroo. Perfect. Okay. This is a toxic, hell yes. Kill the Rose Raid. Sorry, I'm just trying to keep up with these timers, man. Uh, I'll just scarf Earthquake. Ooh, not enough. Nice. <laughs> You crit my vile plume, man. Nice. Okay. That game looks wrapped up. I just need to actually finish playing it. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. They forfeit there. Nice. <laughs> okay. Oof. Can I win two games at a time? Is it possible? In comes the Registeel. I mean, is there any reason for me? to not click Earthquake here because I can use Diancy for this, these two without really any issue. I just need to weaken this thing, I think. So I think I'm gonna go for it. I could go right into Incineroar. Although I only have Overheat, I don't have much. Earthquake is 43, that's a pretty good chunk. As Body Press comes out, I mean, I'll click it again. I don't know why this guy has not gone into two of his flying types on what is clearly a scarfed... Uh, actually, I guess maybe it's not clear. Uh, but I am definitely a scarfed uh, Tyrantrum. Uh, I'll just Earthquake here. If I can KO this thing, then it just comes down to like Diancy beating the remaining two. All right. So if Noivern comes out, it could obviously threaten me. Crobat comes out. I guess it could be nasty plot. It is nasty plot, okay. My boots, okay, good. I think Incineroar should uh, theoretically live any hit from this thing, I hope, because like, Crobat's not that strong, especially. Not even that strong physically, but I mean, plus two is scary. Goes for the sludge bomb, I live, I get poisoned, okay. And there's a knockoff. Does a good amount. If he lets me live, okay. I think I just go Umbreon and click foul play. Could roost, but I, I don't think Nasty Plot has roost. I think it's Nasty Plot, Sludge Bomb, Heat Wave, Giga Drain, I think. How much is this doing? 22, okay. <laughs> Goes for the Sludge Bomb there. I'm gonna go Diancy. This is Nasty Plots again. Sludge Bomb, 55, and the Poison, KO'd. In comes Noivern. Did I try to land it? Goes for the Roost. <laughs> okay. Plus two defense. I 
I'll body press on this roost. Oh. Okay, GG. <laughs> GG. Two games I have won at the same time. Who am I? Am I Galileo? Or uh, who painted the Mona Lisa? <laughs> Uh, scholars have yet to decide. Oh boy. As if to put an end to my streak, here comes the Ubers game. <laughs> Ditto will probably be nice to hold on to. Bulk up Buzzwell. Bulk up Zerud. Clefable. Banded Rayquaza. Oh well. Well, let's go ahead and lead with Clefable. Okay. Thunder Wave. Because I live. Because I'm Clefable. I don't get flinched either. That's what I'm talking about, Clefable. Now, I see no reason not to just go for Stealth Rock. Who needs a Clefable? All I need is Stealth Rock and a Paralysis. And then I can just go ho -Oh. Because I want to lose to Heatran. <laughs> this doesn't even have Earthquake, man. What am I supposed to do versus this thing? I'm supposed to just go Buzzwall and like Drain Punch? Oh. Well, here we go. Does this thing have a psychic move? In comes Giratina. This thing is probably pretty fast, right? Probably gonna Will O Wisp, I would guess. Yeah, I guess it's not really worth the risk. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, it's toxic, I guess. All right, nice. Oh wait, this thing probably runs rest most of the time, doesn't it? And he defies my stealth rock. Come on, man. I don't. I have synthesis and not jungle healing too. What is one to do? Toxics me. Hmm. Will O Wisp, Defog, Toxic, Rest. That would be quite the set. No attacking move. My entire team is weak to Will O Wisp. I bet they rest right here. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Just go hello. Uh, try to willow us once again. They gotta rest here if they have it. So that's, uh, I guess if they sleep talk and get either Toxic or will o -Wisp, that'd be pretty bad. Um, I don't really know what else to do though. I gotta hope that they get Toxic or something or they don't have it and I'm faster. Let's see, Ice Punch does zero. <laughs> Very cool, very cool. I 
All right, there we go. <laughs> Have I not made enough plays? God damn it. I can't beat this. I cannot beat this. This team is undefeatable. Big damage. Maybe he's flame body Heatran. Damn it. <laughs> well, here we go. See, this is what this is the most frustrating type of game where I know what plays my opponent's gonna make, but there's still nothing I can really do about it. And they have Brave Bird as opposed to my stupid toxic defog whirlwind sacred fire walled by heat transit. Ugh. Yeah, is there anything I can do to not get beat down by this other than just go ditto and try to win? Let's see, okay. <laughs> What I would give for just having had an offensive uh, ho. -oh. Nice. Well, I can drag an ascent here. Hopefully, they fear the earthquake. But like, what do I even do past that point? <laughs> There's a pretty good chance that Buzzwool doesn't even outspeed this thing. I can Drain Punch into Darkest Lariat and beat it, but like, I can't even beat this cure him. I guess this is just what happens sometimes, man. This is just what happens sometimes. Oh, they stay in. All right. I guess that's something to work with. Ice Punch on the Giratina, freeze it. No, no freeze, come on. Freeze! Okay. <laughs> very nice, very nice. If I could freeze it right here. If I could freeze it right here. If I could freeze it right here. <laughs> Try to will with me again. All right, if I can freeze it right here. If I can freeze it right here. 
Okay, I get another chance to freeze it right here. <laughs> freeze. Okay, I'm getting more and more chances to freeze it right here. I can freeze it right here. If I can freeze it not here. All right, if this guy wants to set up or anything, then by all means. All right, ditto. <laughs> you got me. If no one else got me, ditto got me. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? <sighs> okay, enough. Maybe I can set up on this thing. But I don't, the root doesn't even outspeed the Kyurem, man. Iron Head also does 44%. Oh, I want to click bulk up, please. Okay, Heatran. Come on, Zarude. Please, God, help me out with this Darkest Lariat. If no one got me, Zarud got me with a freeze right here. Miss. <laughs> GG. Ain't no point in sticking around for that. I I stuck I stuck around way longer than I should have for that. <laughs> oh my god. Well, uh, unfortunately, gonna end it there. Are we gonna end it there? All right, fine. I won't end it there. Pull on my heartstrings, why don't you, dreamers? Oh. Oh my god. Oh, it's NU. I was gonna say, they give me RU in the final hour. But no, this is NU. Because these Pokemon are not RU anymore. So I got Swords Dance, I got Boots. I got Boots, Heliolus. Swords Dance, Toxicroak. I got Stealth Rock, Roost Aerodactyl. Savali Ground with Defog. I got Life Orb, Executor, Lolan. And boots, Delmise. So I'm glad I don't have knockoff anywhere because I can poltergeist everybody except the Snorlax. Oh man, am I gonna lose to Snorlax? Come on, man, don't let me lose to Snorlax. I guess I gotta win with Toxicroak then. <laughs> oh, kind of a slower team, I guess. I'll eat Aerodactyl as he leads Snorlax. Yikes. I gotta go hard Toxicroak, man. Oh, come on. Okay, <laughs> at least I... Ooh, that's damage. Uh, at least it didn't curse. <laughs> oh god, what do I switch into this thing? This monstrous Pokemon is too scary. Uh, wow. Maybe I just need to go Silvali, but I kind of like keeping Silvali around, and I need to be able to do something in return to this thing. I don't know, man. Goes for the Iron Head. Could just U-turn here. I feel like multi-attack is pretty okay, though. Goes for the Protect. All right. 
yeah, that's a pretty good Scavalier set versus this team. Indeed it is. Uh, could go for the U-turn here, just see what he goes for. But the problem is if he stays in, then what am I going to do? All right, cool. Very nice. That's big damage. That is big damage. And I can go Exeggy. No, wait. This thing has triple axle. <laughs> I forgot about that. That actually puts me in a very precarious position. Because I forgot about that. I'll go Aerodactyl. I hope this works out. Miss? Oh. Went for the knockoff. Maybe he doesn't have triple axle then. I can get my stealth rock up. As if he's probably boots on like a, most of his team. But it will help out versus. Okay, there goes my Aerodactyl. How much did U turn do? 48. I could just hyper voice here. They'll probably KO, right? I'm a Heliolisk. All right. <laughs> That's very good. That's very good. I could potentially bluff being choiced on whatever comes in next. I just barely outspeed Verizion because there's no way. Uh, uh, for Scarf Verizion is not a set. Let me tell you, tell you that right now. Uh, best case scenario is Mantine comes in thinking it can tank Hyper Voices. Uh, and then I just Volt Switch out and kill it. Escavalier comes in. Hmm, okay, hold on. Heliolisk. And you... Boots. Where am I having to do the boots at? Doesn't matter. Uh, versus Scavalier. Ooh, and you specially defensive. Yeah, okay, bad idea to attack here. Knock off, okay. I assume the protect will come out here. I will just multi attack as a Mantine comes out. All right, I think that's a pretty, pretty free switch into Heliolisk. Toxic, indeed, very much so. Uh, but I do get a free Volt switch because no ground type, I just realized. In comes the Escavalier. Okay, I can get an idea of what kind of damage I'm doing here. 25. Okay, so this thing's pretty bulky. Hmm. Where... What is this thing's speed stat, you think? 76? Alright, maybe I'll try going down my... Protects... Well, I could try power whipping here on Snorlax coming in. I think I will. Oh. A fine play by my opponent. A very fine play. But I synthesis up on that protect like a boss. Uh, and then click Poltergeist. Nice. All right, a Scavalier is gone. That's huge. Mantine comes out again. I think I just go Heliolisk again because I can tank hurricanes all day long. And I see no reason not to just click Volt Switch again. It lives. Indeed it lives. I'm just going to go Exeggutor. I don't see much use for this thing currently. <laughs> Shoosh. And that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> if he went for a Roost too, I would have had a super effective Giga Drain. So I am confused though. Very much confused. 
Oh, don't go Snorlax. Okay. Uh, just so it doesn't just freely click Swords Dance or something versus me, I will click Flamethrower. There's a Swords Dance, okay. Confusion ends, thank God. Shoo, that is big damage. That is big damage. Uh, definitely going to KO me here, of course. Um, but I see that clearly this thing is not Choice Scarf. <laughs> Uh, so it has a max of 346 and I have a 348. I don't know, even though I know that for a fact, it still scares me to like, risk it, you know? Um, I feel like Volt Switch has got a KO. But I I can just hyper voice, just to be sure. <laughs> In comes the Arcanine. This is scary. I just Thunderbolt. Big damage. Do I live? No. <laughs> Silvali is a speed tie, although it could not be ma it could be not maximum attack as I get off my multi-attack, KO the RK9, and now it's down to the last Pokemon. Multi-attack is a strong move. 41% and there's the curse. Damn it, this thing can still win. Unless it's not the dark, darkest lariat or something. I gotta go Toxicroak. I gotta try to Sword Stance up. Okay, stays asleep. It's gonna wake up this turn. Okay. What do you got? Fire Punch. Okay, and there's the Forfeit. Yes! <laughs> It always feels good to beat Snorlax. Okay, ending it there. Thank you guys for watching so much. Leave a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Keep dreaming. Uh, goodbye!